For today's quiz, I've got this object and it's irregularly shaped. It's just a piece of wood. There's a couple holes here and we simply want to know how do you find the center of mass slash center of gravity of this object. This is kind of an open-ended question, but here's what your quiz looks like for today. I'll hold that up right now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. Typical student responses include, well, you've got to balance it somehow. When you ask them how do you balance it, they're not really sure, but they know there's something to do with balance. The other response that we often get is there's got to be a mathematical formula where you can take up every little molecule and kind of take the average, find the midpoint of that, and that would be the center of mass. Those are the two responses that we get over and over. All right, let's go over this. Look, if the uh, object was perfectly symmetrical, it'd be really easy to find the center of mass. Get the radius or the center of this, and we all know where that's going to be. Even something like a disc here is going to end up having uh, enough symmetry, or I could say take the radius in and go halfway through its thickness, and that would make it rather easy. But an object like this, well, our students had it right to begin with. I took a little cone here, and I simply tried to get this to balance on there. If I could get that balancing point, I'd have a pretty good indication of where the center of mass is located. So, good thinking there. But there are other ways also. One way is to use a plumb line. And a plumb line is just a string with a weight on it, and it hangs straight down. Here I've got this little tool here that'll make my life a little bit easier. What I can do is I can put this into uh, one of the holes and simply let it hang straight. Then I can end up putting a little line right there, and then I'll move to another hole. And when I end up having that coming to rest, I'll put another line right there, and I'll do it one more hole right here. And you'll see that the convergence of those lines, letting it just rotate where it needs to go, I end up getting the center of gravity, center of mass. And I'll just put a little circle around that, maybe erase the rest of the line at this point. And you can see right there, I have the center of mass, center of gravity. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to comment below, share, like, and subscribe. Well, here's a third method. Now, I erased the chalk and I put little stickers on here just so it doesn't rub off. Uh, I also put another sticker at one of the edges. But uh, the center of mass ends up following that nice parabolic path that we find. Let me see if I can throw this in the air. Maybe we can even do a slow-mo and just show you that the center follows that parabola where the rest of the holes do not. Let me see if this works. Pretty cool. These are not the only ways to find the center of mass, center of gravity, but there are a few fun ones. All right, that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.